This video is brought to you by my giveaway that I'm currently having on either Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. Winner's choice. Just click on the link to my Discord in the description below and head to the link on the giveaway channel. Sorry for the lack of BBS videos lately, it's mostly due to Pokemon, but now that I've finished that I should be able to continue no problem. Hello and welcome to the top 10 Toshiros on Bleach Brave Souls. Now previously I've only ever done top 10 Ichigos, but it's getting to the point where we have 10 of quite a few characters. And since Toshiro is one of my favorite captains, I figured why not do a top 10 on him. Also, while I do have some in mind, please let me know what other characters you want to see top 10s on. That said, let's begin. <laughs> Now starting things off, we have the White Day version of Toshiro, a character who should be resurrected early next year, but as it stands, is not exactly great. I will say he's better than the Metal Exchange and the Frenzy Toshiro, and he actually does have pretty decent range on his strong attacks, not to mention a plus 30 Bruiser and a plus 40 Berserker, as well as a plus 30 Havoc, which is probably why he has a decent range. This Toshiro can also inflict debilitating freeze on all of his attacks and his special. Unfortunately though, he got stuck with a Captain Killer, so that's already a pretty big hit, not to mention that he has a dodge rate Soul Trait, which isn't really good for anything these days. I will say he is decent in very, very specific Senkaimon floors, but other than that, he's really not a great character. Now they may be able to fix his multipliers when he's resurrected, and his stats will go up, plus they'll have the ability to give him another soul trait. Unfortunately, they haven't added any killers to resurrected characters before, so it's very unlikely they'll do it now, and that's what really holds them back in the end. Now next up we actually have the swimsuit version of Toshiro, who as far as stats go, is actually kinda worse than White Day Toshiro. Not to mention that he actually has less range than White Day Toshiro. With that said, he actually has more potential than him, since unlike White Day Toshiro, he has a Narankar killer, and he has Frenzy. Plus instead of a dodge rate link, he has a strong attack recharge link, which for PvE is the best thing to have. And for this character in particular, who doesn't have that wide of an impact, it's definitely the best link he could've ended up with. Now this Toshiro can also inflict debilitating freeze on all of his attacks, except for his strong attack 3. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, they have no range, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna stay that way, since unlike the other swimsuit characters, this one didn't get resurrected, and there's a good chance that he won't be. In fact, there's a very good chance that once the White Day version of Toshiro gets resurrected, this one will get pushed to number 10. Until then though, he is slightly better. <laughs> Next up was the first ever proper 5 star Toshiro we ever got, since the previous ones we had were either seasonal or metal exchange. He was also one of the very first 6 stars to ever come out, but because of that, they ended up giving him a less than stellar killer, but a completely overpowering special for the time. We'll just be covering the resurrected one though, since he is clearly the better one. Much like the White Day one, this one also has a plus 30 Bruiser and a plus 40 Berserker. And as I mentioned before, he also got shafted on his killer, because he has an Espada killer, which, you know, not great. However, this one is significantly better than the White Day one, thanks of course to his resurrection, but also due to the fact that he has a strong tech recharge link, as well as a 55% freeze resistance. One of them is significantly better, the other one is just a bonus. Additionally, this one also has Bombardment, meaning that a special is going to hit twice as hard. Also so his special as well as all of his strong attacks and his normal attack can inflict debilitating freeze. And the debilitating freeze full screen bombardment special actually put him at number one for best special for quite some time after he came out. Of course that no longer holds true, though it's still a very hard hitting special and it's what helped put him at the number eight spot on this list. Now at number 7 we have the Wolfman Hitsugaya, one of the original Halloween characters. Now as far as stats go, even after his resurrection, they're not exactly great. If you really wanted to make him deal some heavy damage, you're gonna have to upgrade these stats, and let's be honest, that's not really worth it. That said, he does have quite a few things going for him. For one thing, he has an Arankar killer, so you can already use him for several stuff if you're in a bind. Not to mention that when he got resurrected, he got a 10% strong attack recharge link added to his 65% freeze reduction link, which definitely comes in handy. This character can also inflict debilitating freeze on all of 
of his attacks, and he does have Frenzy, making his added link all the more valuable. Now unfortunately, his strong attacks don't actually have the best range. He did get improved a little bit when he got resurrected, but not by much. Still, none of the other Toshiros we've covered so far have the best range on their strong attacks, so we're not gonna hold it too much against them, just a regular amount. He is the last of the OG Toshiros I'm gonna cover on this list, and I'm actually happy he's the best one of them, since I've always really liked the design of the OG Halloween characters. Alright, now we're starting to get into some of the really good characters, and we're starting off with the original Lost Asian version of Toshiro Hitsugaya, a character I still like to use even now. He's got a moderately high SP, for an older character, and he's got an Arankar Killer and Frenzy. And while a couple of characters I've already covered on this list have had Frenzy already, this one's range is significantly better, though none of them are full screen. His strong attack 1 is a lunge move, his strong attack 2 is a static vortex move, and his strong attack 3 encompasses a wide area around him. That vortex move in particular comes in handy when you really need to freeze an opponent, since all of his attacks have a chance to inflict a debilitating freeze. It's also decent for racking up the combo, though it's not a long lasting vortex, so it doesn't get as many hits as one, though it does come back faster. Combine all this with a strong attack damage link, and you've got yourself the first good Toshiro on this list. <laughs> Next up we have the Movie 2 version of Toshiro, who has a really high SP as well as Frenzy, and much like the other Toshiros can inflict debilitating freeze on all of his strong attacks. This Toshiro also has a strong attack recharge link of 20%, and a Havoc ability at 20% as well, increasing the overall range of his strong attacks. For this guy in particular, that's a really good thing, since his strong attack 3 is a charge move that when fully charged, will hit twice as hard as a regular strong attack 3. And while ordinarily strong attacks aren't full screen when fully charged, thanks to his Havoc at 20, it now basically is. Then there's his strong attack 2 that already had decent range as it was, and his strong attack 1 that has a very high chance to inflict freezing because of how many times it hits. It also knocks the enemies back, which is something you want with this character since he's ranged, and it's a pretty good move to increase the combo. Now, unfortunately this character doesn't have a full screen special. He does however have a Soul Reaper killer, which in my opinion is still the best killer to have, so that kinda makes up for it. Well, not really, but it does help. Finally, this character has a cape. It doesn't improve his stats or anything, but it does look cool. Next up we have the Bonds version of Toshiro, and fun fact about this character you never actually see him use his Bonkai while looking like this, so it's kind of like a K-Lab exclusive. Out of all the Toshiros I've covered on this list so far, this one definitely has the highest initial SP. He's also got a full screen strong attack 3, and pretty decent range on his strong attack 1. Much like the previous one, this one is also ranged, however this one's normal attacks are piercing, making him a lot faster, and increasing the possibility of inflicting debilitating freeze on his normal attack. His strong attack 1, his strong attack 3, and his special can all also inflict debilitating freeze, however his strong attack 2 is a barrier move, so it can't inflict freeze but it does make him a really good support character. It also helps him maintain his link, which was the first ever boosted full stamina damage link. He increases the overall damage of all of his attacks, including his special, by 25%, as long as his health is full. Unfortunately, if he gets hit, he loses this effect. As I mentioned, his barrier move will help him, and the fact that he starts out with 10 barriers also is a big help. This also makes him one of the best SP based PvP characters in the game right now, since with the barriers he won't get hit initially, and he's guaranteed to use his moves. Sadly he will still lose against most characters with Poison Flurry, but that is to be expected, given the state of the game right now. Still the fact that he's decent in both PvE and PvP makes him a great character to have, and it earns him the number 4 spot on this list. <laughs> Coming in at number 3 is the tag team version of Toshiro, who also has a really high SP and friends. He can also inflict debilitating freeze on all of his attacks, and they all have fairly decent range as well. His strong attack 2 certainly does, and his strong attack 3 does, but only half the time, since it's a 2 part strong attack and only the second part is full screen. It's a hybrid vortex basically. Now while the previous two Toshiros on this list did have potential for a slightly bit more damage, the reason why this one is above them is because he's a tag team character, meaning that he has two killers, and he has the best possible ones 
of a Roncar and Soul Reaper, since those two are the ones that appear more often, not just as regular PvE fodder, but also most of the bosses as well, since most of the characters in this game are either Soul Reapers or Roncars. This means that you can take them just about anywhere, and is useful in a large percentage of Senkaimon floors, as well as Inheritance Zones, Droplet Zones, and just about everywhere else, except PvP. Don't take him on PvP. Still, it's this versatility that landed him so high up on this list, and it's what makes him one of the more valuable characters to have in this game. Now when it comes to sheer speed, there are very, very few characters that can compete with the adult manga version of Toshiro Hitsugaya. Like the others, he's got a really high SP and frenzy, and can inflict debilitating freeze on everything. He's also got extremely good range, to the point that his strong attack 2 and his strong attack 1 have about as much range as some of the recent characters with Havoc. And this character doesn't even have Havoc. Not to mention that his strong attacks are also really quick to activate. And thanks to his strong attack recharge link, he can pretty much spam these. This combination will make him one of the fastest characters in this game, in terms of PvE anyway, and a fairly decent character to take in PvP. To a point anyway. Once you start getting into the flurry poise, he basically shatters. For PvE though, there are very few who can compete. K-Lab gave him a really good kit, and they also gave him a really good special, since it's not only full screen and inflicts debilitating freeze, but it also weakens the enemy's defense. So it does even more damage because of that, and allows you to deal more damage afterwards. It's honestly no wonder why he's so many people's favorite character. Bankai. Now at number one we have the zombie version of Toshiro Hitsugaya. And believe it or not, the other manga Toshiro actually has better range on his strong attacks than this one. Like, on every single strong attack. That said, I am still gonna say that this one is slightly better. Not only does he have a higher SP, but in addition to a strong attack recharge link, he's also got Berserker at 20 and Frenzy, meaning that no matter how you build them, this one will always be able to deal at least 20% more damage with his strong attacks than the original manga Toshiro. And while his strong attack 3 isn't full screen, it is something kind of different. It still has amazing range, but it focuses it more in front of the character, allowing him to take out enemies further than what you're able to see, and basically making it better than a full screen as long as the enemies spawn ahead of you and not behind you. Additionally, this one's also kind of better for autoing. The other one is fast, but this one has poise, meaning that he does not stagger and will not stop unless killed, frozen, or paralyzed. He can also inflict debilitating freeze on all of his attacks with the exception of his strong attack 2, since he can inflict debilitating weakening on that one. This Toshiro is also better in PvE than the last one, though they both still kinda shatter when up against flurry poise characters. Honestly, the biggest challenge on this list was the last two characters, since they're both exceptional characters in PvE. In the end though, I had to give it to the one with the highest potential for damage. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for some more top 10 lists.